seeing the ball well or what was it? Yeah, no, uh, just trying to stay to our approach uh, we, we preach about uh, here. So just trying to get the pitches I want and execute today. Yeah, you certainly did that. So tell me about the, the double in the down line. Yeah, no, definitely some big momentum going in the last inning. Uh, just doing a job, trying to plate that run and uh, just tip the cap to Blevins today. He mm -hmm. pitched a great game, so it's always fun playing defense behind him. Oh, that, that was my next question. If you, you give him a 4 nothing lead, you get to feel pretty good about oh, the yeah. chances, you, don't you? You feel very confident with, with him on the mound. Yeah. Your, your first year here and such, how you like it? Oh, I love it here. Uh, just since, since I stepped on campus, it's felt like home, so mm -hmm. I'm loving it here. I'm loving the baseball side of everything, and uh, it, it's been a great time so far. What made you pick Marshall? Uh, uh, me and Coach Beals, we go back a little bit. So mm -hmm. obviously the coaching staff, the facilities, it's all, you know, the best you could ask for. So. Very good. So how you feel going into the uh, last game of the series? Good. I'm feeling confident. Uh, just got to keep playing our brand of baseball that we have been and, uh, you know, execute another day. Very good. Anything else? What, what was working for you today? Uh, really everything, you know, um, I found it in the bullpen, you know, I knew from the get go, you know, warming up that today was a good day, you know, especially with the four pitches I had that they were all going to work for me. And, you know, I knew after last night's big win, you know, my job was to go out there and compete, you know, each weekend like I always do and uh, get us another win. Looks like your, your control was, you put the ball just exactly where you wanted it. You yeah, know? yeah, uh, you know, I'm not one of those guys that, you know, throw 95, so I know, you know, at this level especially, you know, my job is to, you know, compete, like I said, and, you know, every one of my pitches, you know, I got to spot up and locate really well, you know, to get those weak outs. Yeah. What'd you throw most of them? Uh, it was a, I would say they're all even, really. I, you know, my fastball, I would say I threw that a lot more today. Mm -hmm. Um, a breaking ball and change up especially, you know, I'd say all of them were about even. Yeah. Uh, when we were in high school and you, you talked you wanted to improve your slider, or it looks like you really have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a big pitch for me, you know, last year I came in and really didn't have that pitch, you know, and uh, off season, you know, this season, you know, it's another pitch I've added that's a true slider now, you know, so that's a plus for me to have, you know, true, truly four pitches. Yeah, good. A lot of confidence, your confidence is boosted. Now. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've always been a confident, you know, pitcher, you know, throughout my career. Um, you know, I know my job is to go out there and throw strikes, you know. You know, our hitters don't want to play defense long, so my job out there is to get us in and out quickly as possible. They, they give you a 4 nothing lead. You had to feel really good about that. Yeah, yeah, we came out last night, you know, put – put some on the board, you know, really quickly. And today we came out again, you know, put some on the board. And I knew, you know, after that 4 nothing lead, as long as I competed and stayed in the game and we made some plays, you know, we were going to take this one as a win. Very good. What have you improved most from your freshman year? I would say, um, tough one. <laughs> um, I say at this level, you know, just the confidence, you know. Um, mm -hmm. You come in as a freshman, you know, like I said, I pitched last year and, you know, you kind of have to adjust from the high school level to this level. And, you know, you can't just put one down the middle and, you know, like in high school and expect them not to hit it, you know, at this level, locating and tr truly learn how to pitch the hitters at this level, you know. Mm -hmm. It's very mental, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 very. Anything else? Oh, no, sir. One more thing, Bright. So this is the first nine-inning complete game shutout for Marshall since 2017. Okay. Being a local kid, a local kid coming to your local university, what does that mean to you to be able to do that for the first time? And seven eight years oh it means a lot you know uh this year's a lot different you know it's a it's a big different feeling around this team you know all the guys i enjoy being around um you know it's truly something special you know and i know it you know it was the first one in many years but i'm sure there'll be a quite a few more out of other people this year but the biggest thing is we got the win win the series let's go out tomorrow and get another one well we'll just start with your thoughts on yeah well i'll just tell you what i told the guys out there we had a sacrifice bunt we had some sacrifice flies and we had bryce blevins today and um that's all it took, and Bryce was outstanding. He did a great job of mixing his pitches and both sides of the plate, ahead in the count, just masterful pitching, really. Just that's how that's how you pitch baseball. Um, the thing that I'll credit our entire team on is we got four runs early. You know, the first three innings, we put four runs on the board. You give a guy like Bryce Blevins a four-run lead and allow him to settle in, and not every pitch is under the gun gonna be really tough and he, and he was today and mentioned Bryce first complete game shutout for Marshall since 2017 yeah couldn't happen for a better local product kid what did you see from him today just Bryce did himself I mean Bryce that's Bryce Blevins that's what he does he's at the bottom of the strike zone all the time mixing all three of his pitches and just a head in the count puts a lot of pressure on a hitter you mentioned A.J. Heverola last night didn't get a hit today he gets a 
big insurance run there late yeah. with the double, playing great defense at third base after not playing there all year. Right. He's stepped up early. Well, this last a AJ's weeks. a good baseball player. You know, there's more talented players in, in, out in the world than, than AJ, but AJ's a really good baseball player. Yesterday, he did all the little things that don't really show up in the box score with moving runners over. Today, he got two hits and three RBIs, and that shows up, and he deserves it. And then looking for get 4 0 in series is now at home. Looking for the series sweep tomorrow. What are you looking for? Yeah, we just got to go one game at a time. What I'm looking for is that we continue to play the way we are. We play really good defense. We take advantage of our offensive opportunities, and we pitch the ball. Thank you. All right. Thank you.